What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video. Before this one starts, please drop a like on it, hit subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. All right guys, so what we're going to be doing today is changing out a bumper. So as you can see, what happened here is somebody probably took a, I don't know, I don't think a six pounder could do that, maybe. But somebody took a bowling ball and hit the side of the bumper really hard, cracking it. So what we're going to be doing today is changing this section out and we're going to put a new section on. Some tools you'll need for this job are a hacksaw, a Sharpie to mark your point, a drill, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a 7 uh, it doesn't have to be open on, so just a 7 16 wrench. So we're going to start by taking our Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, since our brake is right here, we're going to take the Phillips head screws out of this bracket right here. So we should be able to just take that piece right off of there. So that's part of our broken piece. Slide it out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to need our, 17, our 7 16 wrench to go ahead and take the rest of these uh, screws out of the brackets here. Try not to drop the screw. So I should only have to take out these two screws because we're not changing this whole piece. We're just going to change part of the section. All right, and as always, keep all your screws in one place so you don't lose anything. All right, so now, as you can see, I have both of those loosened. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our new section set it right in there making sure that you can see the you can see through the holes in the plastic all right so that means that you're lined up there and now you're going to come over here to the other end while making sure that that side stays in the bracket you're going to take your sharpie and Kind of just estimate. So you're gonna line up your pieces right here. Give yourself a little extra, just in case. So this is where we're gonna make our cut. All right, so you can get your new section back out of the way for now. And what we're going to do is cut this piece off. So, as always guys, when using saws or sharp tools, always be careful. So, I'm going to, you, all, you want to try to cut this as straight as possible too. So, we're going to go a little bit ahead of that line I made. Give us some extra space. This plastic cuts really easily. This saw is really dull. Try to keep it straight. Might not be perfect, it's all right if it's not. Make sure you hold the good side of the bumper so you don't crack it even more. Because you'll see as you get to the end here, sometimes it can get difficult. Now I'm and just be cautious of the lane as well. All right, so now that we have our broken section out, blow all this plastic dust out of the way and grab your new section. And as long as you made your cut the right way, it should all line up pretty nicely. All right guys, so now you can take your new piece, get it lined up in the bracket up there, and then try to uh, get it in this one here. As you can see, 
we're all set to go right here. So now what I'm going to do, it helps if you have a newer Sharpie with a sharp tip on it. What we're gonna do is mark our points where our holes are going to go. So there's one right here. Make sure you don't move it while you're marking your points or else they'll be off. So get that back out of the way again. Now I'm going to drill where we marked our points so we can use our new bracket, try to be as close as possible. All right, now look at the other side, make sure your bit's going through straight. Don't poke yourself in the eye with the drill. Now we're gonna do our second one. Again, make sure your bit's straight. All right. All right guys, so now that we have our holes drilled, we can go ahead and take our new section and lay it back in that bracket up there. And get this one kind of in there like that. All right, now we're gonna check our holes. and They look pretty good. Maybe just a little bit off, but we should be able to work with that. Can always go ahead and uh, on this side only because this uh, this is where the heads of the screws are. If you miss a little bit, it's not a big deal. So we're going to just go ahead and screw in here. Now these don't have to be ridiculously tight. You want them snug, but don't over tighten them. I think that's good. Because then that might crack your plastic and then you'll have to do this all over again. So that should be good. Now, you can go ahead and put these two screws in here where the brackets are. There's one. And there's two. And always put these screws on with the head on the side where the lane is, just so you don't have to worry about bowling balls being nicked up from the screws sticking out. Again, right here. Phillips head, 7 16 wrench, tighten these up. Again, you do not have to make these ridiculously tight. They actually make it so you can't. They only thread part of the screw right at the end. So when the nut stops, that's when you stop. And yeah, since I just drilled this hole in here, it might not be completely true, so. But that plastic is really easy to get through. When you're putting force on the bumper like that, make sure you always have your hand on the other side like how I do, just to kind of give it some support so you don't break it again. Now that you have those tightened up, you're done. All right guys, so just one quick, one more quick side note here. So even though this part of the bumper did break, I can still save this piece because if I take my saw here and if I cut it off, eh, about, you don't wanna go, you wanna kind of, if you're going to put a bracket on here, you like see how this one, it's like right in between these two because you don't want it too far or too close to the bracket here because it might bind up on the metal there. But what you can do is kind of just make a cut like a little past this hole here. So then you still have a good piece and you can make little repairs all over the place. Like I have a lot of them up near the fronts because that's where they get damaged the most. So even though Sometimes, once in a while, you have to buy new ones. You can still save a lot of the old pieces to fix small sections that are broken. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe for more content. Instagram, Facebook, links in the description below. Make sure you drop a like if you haven't already. And please like, subscribe, and peace. And don't forget to do it like a pro. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.